Hello, this is HT Wingnut. This video is an update from one I posted a little bit over a year ago, testing SSD data retention over time with the SSDs left unpowered. Now I'd recommend watching that video first, and I will leave a link in the video description, and you should also see a link card to that same video in the corner of this video as well. In any case, I'll go ahead and recap and summarize. So here are the four disks that I'm testing, and they're cheap 128 gigabyte, uh, I believe TLC SSDs, it's a 11JS600, some uh, cheap generic brand that I'm using. I'm going to go ahead and flip these over here because I did label these for testing. And now what I did, and just to recap and summarize, is I took two of the disks and I torture tested them with over 280 terabytes written. And uh, these disks actually have a 60 terabyte TBW rating, so it was over four and a half times the actual TD TBW rating of these SSDs, so it's pretty well worn. Then the other two disks, I just left them fresh, new out of the package, then I added data to them so we can kind of compare and contrast between a well worn SSD and a more or less fresh SSD. So after I torture tested these, I generated a folder with over 100 gigabytes of files and of random data. And so that equals about 90% filled capacity of each of these disks. Now that same data was written to each of these disks. I also created hash values of each of those files, so that way they could uh, use it to compare and contrast and validate that the files had not become corrupted over time. So here's the test plan, and uh, I've got SSD1, SSD3, SSD2, and SD, SSD4. Now SSD1 and 3 are what I tested in the last video, and uh, I had tried to keep these about a year apart, and originally I started these off on September 2nd, 2022. I let it wait a year, then I created the video last year, which I ended up doing on October 3rd, 2023. So a little over a year long. And then this year, unfortunately, I became busy with other personal matters, and so I was not able, really able to get to this until just recently. And so the plan was to have it on 20, 24 September 2nd, and I ended up with uh, November 23rd, 2024, which is today. And so this will be two years after the data had been written to these disks originally. And as you can see here, I do plan on following up with the original disks at three years, and then also these disks I'll follow up after four years. Now the plan here is to take these two SSDs the two-year SSDs, and plug them into my PC. Now this PC is actually the same as it was when I started this project two years ago, so there should be some consistency there. And uh, when I install these, I'm going to first check the health of them with Crystal Disk Info. Then I'm going to go through and validate all the files. Then I'm going to follow that up by doing a read test of the surface. Now I did not actually do a full read test of the files, but I do actually have a times for it took to actually audit the files on the disk. So that should give us a good indicator too, as well as read performance if that's been affected as all as well. So here is the two year fresh SSD. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. Powered on. So now with this uh, fresh SSD, uh, the two year one, you can see that we're actually able to bring this up in Windows Explorer. Going into Crystal Disk Info itself, you can see that we have 220 gigabytes total host reads, 221 total gigabytes total host writes, and uh, power on count seven and two hours on, so it's a fresh SSD. And the data seems like it's still intact, at least the directory information. So we're gonna go ahead and do a hash validation. Go ahead and use a little program here. And so we want to validate, here's the folder with all the files. We can drag this over here, and then we want to use the known good hash file here. And here's the hash file that has all the hashes in it. Now as it reads, if it finds any error, it should show up here as well because sometimes it doesn't really know what's bad until it's actually read all the data on the SSD. And if we look, here is the drive. It's actually reading at about 160, 170 megabytes per second. We'll see how that fares as far as the total audit time. Now, in case you're wondering, here is the use space on the SSD, 100 gigabytes with 20 gigabytes free. And you can see results here that it did not find any discrepancies, so all the data seems to be fine. You can see here, after running the validation, uh, the SSD is still good at 
So take a quick look at the hash audit times. Uh, this year it ran at 10 minutes and 38 seconds compared to 10 minutes and 3 seconds when it initially added the data two years ago. And I'd say that's well within the margin of error, so there was no significant slowdown in performance. So I'm also going to do a full disk read performance test using HD Sentinel. Everything is good. Okay, you can see here we ended up at about 470 megabytes per second. So the two year fresh SSD looks like it's running perfectly fine. All right, so now for the torture tested one, 284 terabytes written so far. Okay, so now I booted up. I have the well-worn SSD in there, the two year one. And you can see here, there's the serial number 1425 and total host writes 283 gigabytes, sorry, 283 terabytes. And if we bring up the drive in Windows Explorer, it's showing here, so that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and go to test it now, validate the hashes. So we go ahead and audit it, and we want to validate the D data drive. And we're going to use the same hash values. Now right away you can see here that it's actually taking some time here to read that file. So it seems that there may be some concerns. 100% active time and only reading at about 3 megabytes per second. So there is some degradation here it seems like. As it continues to audit files it seems to have issues with performance. It gets hung up on certain files and the performance drops considerably. And uh, so we'll see how this goes through the rest of the testing. So the audit has completed, and you can see here that actually it says audit failed. Now you can see here it says four new files found and four known files not found. What that means is, if you look up here, we can see the file list of files, uh, file 002.txt, 266, 359, 682.txt, says no match. It says that the hash that it calculated does not match um, the hash in the log. Okay, And uh, same thing, known file not used, which says that, okay, this file was in the log file, but it found no match in the folder that I checked. So let's tell us, we know that we did not touch these files, so effectively your hashes don't match, which means that there is some corruption there. And if we take a quick look at the audit times here, typically the audit would take between 10 and 11 minutes, regardless of which SSD I used previously, but this particular time it took over 42 minutes and 43 seconds to complete the audit, so that's over four times slower than traditionally, so there's definitely some performance issues there. All right, so now we're going to run the HD Sentinel. So now this is going to do a read test of the surface, or more or less just a direct read of the NAND. Okay, so it completed the block test here, and it's got three damaged blocks. You can see the dark green here indicates um, bad sectors, I guess slow sectors. And we go over here and look at the actual transfer speed. I mean, this doesn't do it justice, right? I mean, it looks like it's actually, it's not consistent, but it's actually... Um, not horrible, 350 megabytes per second on average probably, but you can see here how it kind of lagged at all these locations. So there's definitely something going on with the disk. So the SSD was actually able to correct a lot of the errors that it found on the disk, but the fact that we had errors and that we ended up with four uncorrectable errors or I guess corrupt data, it tells us that the SSD is on its way out, right? So it managed to maintain it for two years, but it started to have some corruption there. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a before and after on both of these disks using Crystal Disk Info and looking at a few specific attributes here. One is the IDE05 reallocated sectors count. Second one is A0 uncorrectable sectors count while well, when read right. And then lastly, the hardware ECC recovered, the C3 uh, attribute right there. 
And this is the clean disk. So the one that, uh, well, I guess the fresh disk that barely had any data written to it. So what we're looking at first here is the original, when I originally had added data to the SSD. And then over on the right here is the data as we looked at it as soon as we plugged it in the computer today. And unfortunately, I did not uh, scroll down the Crystal Disk Info window here, shame on me, but we really don't need the information there. Um, the three attributes that we need are, are shown here. So we take a look at reallocated sectors count at zero on both. Uh, uncorrectable A0 sectors count when read write are also at zero. That's good. And then lastly, the C3 hardware ECC recovered started at zero. But it actually, when we plugged it in today, actually ended up with uh, 404 uh, ECC uh, sectors uh, recovered. So there was some slight corruption, but it was able to recover those. Now you're going to see this crystal disk info is going to move over to the left. Then we're going to compare it to after the test. So this was just before we tested. And now we look down here. You can see here, here's the crystal disk info on the left. Same one we just saw on the previous screen that was on the right. And this crystal disk info window here is after the test. So again, reallocated sectors count as zero. The uncorrectable sectors count while read right is still zero. And lastly, hardware ECC recovered, which started at uh, 404. It actually bumped up to 409. So it was able to recover five sectors. Um, but uh, so it's, it's not a great sign, but it's still able to fix itself. And all the data was intact. And then with hard disk Sentinel, we already took a look at that. You can see here it was clean with about 470 megabytes per second. And so here is the crystal disk info for the worn disk. And again, here is the original when I originally added data to it. So you can hear, see here it had already been torture tested with that much data. But at the time, the reallocated sectors count was zero. The uncorrectable sectors count while read write was still zero and both. And then uh, we have the C3 hybrid ECC recovered. It actually had a number of uh, uh, errors there. And then it actually bumped up after we plugged it into the uh, computer today. So it, it lost a few, uh, had to recover a few sectors there. So this is before test. Again, this is going to move over to the left. So that's it over here. And now this is before the test today. And then here's the after the test today. And again, we look at reallocated sectors count zero. Well, we actually had some reallocated sectors. So that means that uh, we had failed sectors that it could no longer use anymore, 24 of those. Then the uncorrectable count when read right was zero. But that actually bumped up to 12 here. So again, 12 sectors that were uncorrectable uh, when they were read or write. And then lastly, we look at the C3 again. However, ECC recovered started at 11,745. But as I was going through the audit, um, I could watch it go up by refreshing the uh, values here. And in the end, it ended up at about 201,000 versus 11,745 to start. So it recovered a bunch of data, but uh, obviously it reallocated some and it could not correct some of them, which means we lost uh, those four files because of that. So after the audit was complete, I went through and again ran hard disk Sentinel on this, this disk like I did the other one. And uh, you can see here that the uh, light green means it's operating as normal. The dark green indicates that it had errors or issues reading those sectors. Now we compare that with the uh, clean one. Here it took only about five minutes to read the entirety of the SSD at about 470 megabytes per second. But here it took about 23, 22 and a half minutes in order to read that. So again, that took over four times the time. So there's definitely some issues going on with those NAND cells. And if you go ahead and take a look at the actual transfer rates here, um, I mean, this part actually doesn't look too bad. It looks like it averages about 350, uh, 375 megabytes per second. But we saw that that really wasn't the case when we actually were trying to read data because it took four times the amount of time. So it should have only averaged about 100 something megabytes per second in reality. And here's just the hash audit times that I showed you in the text document, but here in a graph form. So because here again, it only took typically around 10 to 11 minutes in order to run the audit. But with this two year well-worn uh, SSD, this test took about 42 minutes and change. So that's the two year update. Year one, the heavily written and the fresh disk actually performed fine and all the data didn't have any issues with it. But now in year two, the worn or heavily written SSD ended up having some corruption of a handful of files and uh, performance was degraded significantly as far as the read test. Although the uh, fresh disk here that was barely written to uh, when did the read test performance was the same as before and uh, all the data was intact, although it showed that there was some ECC happening on this SSD. 
uh, but it didn't seem to impact performance or the integrity of the data so far. So a year from now, I'll go back and reread these guys here and see where we stand. So I hope you found this interesting. Leave some comments below. I'd be curious to hear what you have to say about this. And until next time, talk to you later.